Welcome into this edition of the Chris Hatcher Show. I'm John McAfoos filling in for our usual host, Kevin Blackwell. Kevin will be back next week. And of course, we're always happy to be joined by head coach Chris Hatcher. And coach, starting off the season with a big win against Tennessee Tech last Thursday night, 52-14. to It was really a game where you guys executed in all three phases. Well, every win is a big win. And, um, you know, I thought that we had a great crowd. It was a great atmosphere. You know, new president comes in. We give him a game ball at the end. So that's always a, a bonus to... To, to win the first game with a, with a new president there, and we appreciate his support. But um, I thought our students did an outstanding job in, in the end zone, getting our team fired up. Um, but again, you're, you're exactly right. Um, you never know what to expect going in the first game. Um, and, but, you know, I really, I thought that we were in good condition. I thought we played with a lot of excitement and, and pride in Sanford University. And, um, you know, other than some mistakes that, you know, you expect to make each and every week, um, I thought that, um, you know, we played a, a, a really good first game, and I'm really proud of the effort that our players and staff put in um, to, to being able to perform like that on a Thursday night opener. Well, let's talk about the defensive performance because it, it was really an exceptional effort on that side of the ball. You did allow that one long drive at the end of the second quarter and another early in the third quarter, but beyond that, it was really a shutdown performance. And after that second scoring drive, you allowed just 36 yards of total offense the rest of the way. Well, you know, Nick Benedetto, our defense coordinator, does a great job in teaching. You know, our guys, it, it, was, it was very evident that we were very comfortable with our scheme. Um, we, we were in the right places, which allowed us to tackle extremely well. Maybe one of the best tackling performances I've seen in an opener um, in my 20 plus years as a head football coach. Um, we forced a turnover, um, you know, gave the offense great field position. Chris Edmonds had an interception. Um, and then, you know, you take away the last drive of the second quarter and the first drive of the third, and um, it's a shutout ball game. And um, so, you know, kudos to those guys. They played outstanding. Obviously got to talk about Montreal Washington's performance, not just the SOCON Special Teams Player of the Week, but also the Stats FCS Special Teams Player of the Week. 245 all-purpose yards, including a punt return for a touchdown. And however you utilize him, he's just an absolute weapon when he gets that ball in his hands. No question about it. You know, he's an electric player. And, um, you know, our special teams units, um, you know, played outstanding. I mean, we got some great blocks there. Um, and, you know, uh, Ricky Turner, our, our special team coordinator, does a great job. But the special teams unit, I thought, um, all in all, were very solid. Two new kickers coming in the ball game. Porcelato punted the ball well. We protected well right there. Um, I thought that, um, you know, they, they played outstanding. And, of course, anytime you get a, a punt return for a touchdown, it increases your odds of winning the ball game. Well, Liam Welsh really picks up right where he left off as well, 370 yards, four touchdowns, and really he got to spread the ball out to a lot of different players. Eleven different receivers had a reception, and those four touchdowns went to four different players as well. Well, I thought the offensive side played well, um, you know, sputtered a little bit early, but those guys, um, you know, they, they really picked it up the, the third quarter. Um, at halftime, I challenged our offensive line a little bit. They responded extremely well. Um, but Liam did. He, he dispersed the ball well, pretty even across the board with our five positions. We had six different guys offensively score touchdowns. Um, so again, I thought he was sharp, um, you know, made one errant throw there late in the game that could have been intercepted. Um, but other than that, um, I, I thought that he played a very, very solid game, especially in an opener. What did you see out of the running game? We saw a lot of Jay Stanton early, a lot of DeMarcus Ware in that second half, and both of them contributed a rushing touchdown. You know, I, I thought that we pushed the ball through pretty good once we got it down there close. DeMarcus's run was extremely good to see because we were, you know, third and goal from about the seven-yard line or so, and, and better run one in from that distance um, is always a good sign. Um, we struggled running the ball consistently. Um, I really thought that um, you know, um, Tennessee Tech's defensive line was outstanding all night, um, and, and we got to improve in that area, and that all starts up front. We need those guys to be more consistent um, in our blocking up front. What were your thoughts on the overall atmosphere? A little bit different uh, with the student section, the Red Sea down on the actual field in front of the scoreboard. I thought it was um, you know, pretty cool that we, we, we asked the students to go in what we call the beach area down there. Um, at football practice and then to score the the first touchdown of the season Michael Weiss in that end zone was a pretty cool moment to see the students get excited and um, I think um, the Red Sea will continue to grow um, you know we're, we're excited about it I mean this is Sanford's team we're a, a smaller university um, and we all just need to pull together because I thought the energy and the excitement 
was what got us that big lead in the third quarter, and we were able to hang on for a big win. Well, let's talk about what's next. You're going to UT Martin on Saturday, and they're coming off a loss at Western Kentucky. Obviously, that's an FBS school, but UT Martin's got a couple of receivers that rank amongst the best in their conference. Just give us a little scouting report of the Skyhawks. Going to be very athletic football team, and um, you know, going to Martin is not an easy task. I've been there many a times at Murray State, and um, their head coach has um, been there a long time, does a tremendous job. Um, but going to be a very athletic team um, that's going to show a lot of looks at you on both sides of the ball. And, of course, they have some tremendous playmakers uh, on both sides of the ball. So um, going on the road for the first time, um, playing a night game on the road against a very athletic team, we're going to have to play our best in order to win. Coach, always appreciate your time. Best of luck this week. Thank you so much. If you can't travel to support the Bulldogs in Martin, you can watch at 6 p.m. on ESPN Plus this Saturday. That's head coach Chris Hatcher. I'm John McAfee. That'll do it for this edition of the Chris Hatcher Show.